Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog with me, Seppi. And you can see my reflection in the background, that's so annoying. I'm just heading out to lunch with my friend Annabelle and I thought I would bring you guys along. The last vlog you would have seen is the Riga vlog. I got back about three, four days ago, I want to say. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd bring you guys along because I'm doing some fun things these next few days before I go away again. And yeah, it's always fun to bring you guys along. I'm just going to meet her at Greenberry in Primrose Hill. I've never been before, um, so I'm looking forward to it. I need to redo my nails. They've come out a bit. And I'm like I said, I'm going away next week. So I want, in like four days. So I want to have new nails for that. Otherwise, with extensions if any of you guys have had them they get really annoying if they're too too long like it hurts your own nails so i need to fix that but i thought i'd show you guys my outfit the lighting is actually really bad um but i'm wearing this dress i got last year from top shop this corset thing is like attached to it um just with some white uh giuseppe's some silver hoop earrings and my sunglasses i got last year from Monaco. I'm hoping to get some new sunglasses when I go away in four days time. Um, I won't say where I'm going, but it's kind of along the lines of Monaco. Um, like it's not the same place, but it's along that same lines. And I remember when I went there, I saw these sunglasses and some Celine ones for my sister. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get some new ones because I love these. So I'm at Greenbury in Primrose with Annabelle, <laughs> the big orange juice. Um, Annabelle is always on my Instagram story, so I feel like it's only time you guys saw her in the vlog. She's so beautiful. And she was just telling me she's working at Lorraine in ITE this week. Right? Yeah, I do ship. So this week I'm on Lorraine, next week I'll be on the morning. <laughs> what time do you have to wake up? Wake up, 10 past 3 in the morning. Work starts before that. Finished by 10 a.m. So. That is crazy. <laughs> So I am sorry the sun is like on the car. Wait, if I close the roof, I wonder if that will help. Um, that's not better. I'm just gonna open it again. So we just finished eating and then we were walking around Primrose and we saw EJ, shout out to you. Um, and we had a really nice time. The weather is so beautiful right now in London. According to my car, it is 31 degrees, bloody hell. Um, yeah, it's so hot. I don't know if that's just because my car is burning as well. But I'm gonna go home now and I have so much to do. I might get my nails done, but I realized that tomorrow there's an Iran match and I'm going to watch it in Camden with all the Iranians that I know. And I like bite, I don't bite my nails ever, but I like literally do this during the match because I'm nervous. So I feel like if I get new nails, then I'm just going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to hold off till Tuesday and do my nails then because I don't want to have a bad manicure. Morning guys, so it's now the next day and I am getting ready to go to uni. I didn't bother to wear makeup and no, I haven't started uni yet. I actually just have a project, um, like a research project that they make everyone in third year like pick a project and do so I'm going in for that and I thought I'd bring you guys along my outfit for today is really simple London is so warm right now I just wanted something like comfortable to go to uni quickly and come back so I thought I'd show you guys so I'm wearing this top from Zara it's from last year and it's actually kind of shrunk in the wash but I don't really mind um, and it's just really loose and a comfortable material in the hot weather and then I'm wearing like cropped leggings. I cropped them myself, it was boiling. So um, I just got the scissors out now and cut them. And fortunately they match up, otherwise I'd look stupid. So my plan for today is just to go to uni and then I'm gonna come home and get ready because in the evening is 
the Iran match versus Portugal and a lot of friends, um, a lot of my friends are all going to a place in Camden to watch the match so I have tickets to go as well and I'll be going with my cousin so I'm looking forward to that a lot and yeah I'm just going to come home and get ready for that as well so I'm excited for today. I don't know if you can see me because the sun is like facing the opposite direction. La yesterday after I went out with Annabelle I was like in a bit of a not good mood. I'm, my fr a lot of my friends are going through really like really unexpected difficult situations and like all in the same week and I just feel like being upset for them is really took its toll on me but then in the evening I went out with two of my friends and they literally made me feel so much better I can't even explain to you guys like I had just the most chill time we literally just went to shisha in mia and everyone's looking at me um i literally went to just we just went to shisha and mia but honestly like if you're ever going through like a bad day go hang out with like someone who has no clue about your bad day and relax and you'll feel much better but yeah um my train was 20 minutes delayed on my way in and now no, 30 minutes late and now I'm running late, but hopefully the consultant was busy on a board round anyway. But also, I should probably say I absolutely love these. They're the skinny latte cup things you can get from um, like supermarkets. They taste so good and they're like coffee on the go. So I watched the Iran match in Camden. I'll insert the clips now. It was such a great vibe, I can't even tell you guys. And thank you to all the people who um, came up to me and told me that they watch my videos or they like my Insta. Like there were so many people and I got so emotional because I didn't realize like that. I know people, you get views and stuff, but you don't realize that there are actually people interested in watching you. You think sometimes it's just like your friends or whatever. So thank you guys so much, it meant so much. So much to me um, my plan for today is I'm going to the gym now you'll see I'll try and get Andy to film some of our workout I broke my nail but I was gonna do them anyway so I'm probably gonna do my nails and then I have to do some shopping because I'm going away in two days time and I've literally got just my bikinis for this trip and nothing else so hopefully we'll round this up and we will be getting somewhere in my routine so I'm with Andy he's got me on the stairmaster so tell me what you thought of the Iran match. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> Tale of two halves. Yeah. Very, very good. Iran done very, very well. Portugal was so nice. I had I had so many Portuguese people come up and hug me yeah. after the match being like, good game. I love Portuguese people. We could have won it at the end. We could have won it at the end. <laughs> we could have. Very close. We got the better eat. And then if it puts that far post, Iran are through. Yeah. It was good, you guys found yourself proud man, well done. We're very, very proud. <laughs> By the way, Andy's changed his Instagram username, he's so naughty. Oh, yeah. But I will put it on the screen and down below as well. What are we going to do? So we can do a little four blasts now. Okay, we're going to do a crowd push there back twice. Okay, we're going to um, super set it with cruel walks. Okay, we're going to repeat this four times. Fab. Good, and from the bottom, get the momentum up. Let's go, three, two, one. Really small movements. Keep the, get the knees down a little bit more. There you go, perfect. How does that feel? <laughs> what are we going to do now? So now we're going to do a little variation of jump squats and walking lunges. We're going to repeat it three times. There, back, there, back, there, back. That's one set. Nice and low with a jump squat. Okay, good. Into walking lunges, hands on the hips. 
drive. Knee down, head up for me, push her up. Good, lovely. So remember guys, we repeat this three times. That's one set. Bum down a little bit for me. And that's it. Keep your legs nice and straight. So my mum and I have come to Selfridges. I've just bought some dresses and clothes for my holiday from Victoria's Secret, believe it or not. Um, but I don't have anything for the daytime, so we've come to look around in Selfridges. It's 9.30, it shuts at 10. Um, all I need is like five day outfit. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can find it. But I love the new renovated Selfridges. Mum, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Mum, your hair looks messy. Look. She's cute. So my room is a complete mess, but I got a lot of stuff yesterday when I was at Selfridges and uh, when I was at Victoria's Secret. Um, you'll definitely see all of these outfits on my Instagram. Um, my Insta is Persian Bunny, and I also went to. Super drug, and I just got some of my skincare stuff. So, uh, simple day cream. I know it's like age resisting, um, but they didn't have like a normal one, and I just wanted a day cream. And I really like the formula of this. I have eczema sensitive skin, but this is like a really nice, um, like not heavy cream. And then I got some tan oil. This is the Hawaiian Tropic in coconut and papaya. And I got the Piz Bowen one. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This one was SPF 15. And then I got a face spray because you get really hot out there. And it's nice to have this in your bag, in your beach bag. I'll be having all three, all four of the. I'll be having all four of these in my beach bag. And I got a face wash, but I think I'm gonna leave this in London. And I also got this concealer. Because I'd run out of concealer, I got it in the shade Light. It's the Instant Anti-Age by Maybelline. So it's the day before I'm going away. I'm going to Cannes and I look really muggy because I just went, just come back from the gym with Andy, my trainer. Um, we had another session, so we really killed it before my holiday. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below so you can see the next vlog, which will be the Cannes holiday vlog with my friend April. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that trip. I also do loads of other videos, not just vlogs. So make sure you subscribe for that. My socials will be linked down below, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny. My Twitter is the Persian Bunny. And my snap is Sefi Samai. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.